and this is a game that plays one to two players originally, but this new expansion is going to be allowing you to play with three players cooperatively or with four players with one of the players acting as the overlord for the dungeon, creating a one versus many scenario. Essentially, this is a game where each player plays as a hero with their own player board that they're going to be using to track various aspects of their hero. This, of course, is going to be their health as well as their experience points, which will earn them more dice the more experience that they have, and their armor, which helps them negate damage, and of course, food, which they're going to have to spend as they move through the different levels of the dungeon because this is a game that actually takes you through four different levels, and each time that you progress to a new level of the dungeon, you're going to have to spend a certain amount of food, but if they're not able to do that, then they're going to lose some amount of health but players will also be able to earn gold through the various rooms in the dungeon that they travel through and some of these rooms might also have opportunities to spend that gold for different items or potions and these have a variety of effects but most of this game is done through dice rolling so a lot of the effects will have to do with dice mitigation and re-rolling any of your dice that you're not so happy with. But the way this game works is that players are going to be moving through the various levels of the dungeon with each level being represented by nine different cards in a three by three grid. The first card is always going to be flipped over and that's where players are going to be starting. But then the very last card on the bottom right is always going to be a boss card. And there might be other enemies that you encounter through the dungeon as you move through it. But players essentially are going to be flipping any two cards adjacent and then choosing one to move into. When you move into that location, it usually requires you to roll your hero dice as well as the dungeon dice and the dungeon die is going to determine what portion of the card activates because there can be a bunch of different potential outcomes for each of the given cards and this is something that you're going to want to consider when deciding which cards you want to move into but then your hero dice are going to determine the amount of successes that you have at that location this means that the more hero dice you get the higher likelihood you do have to succeed but if you do have some items or gear to help that is always nice of course fighting the different enemies does come at a risk because you can lose health but but the positive benefit there is that you can get different items and gear from fighting them. And of course, they will gain you XP as well, which, like I said, does get you more dice. But the game essentially continues like this with players moving through the various cards until they reach the boss for that specific level of the dungeon. And then once that boss is defeated, then you're going to be laying out nine different cards for the next level of the dungeon. Once players do this enough times and survive their way through the dungeon and make it to that final boss, they win the game if they are able to actually beat that final boss with all the different gear and XP and items that they're able to gain up to that point. If not, then of course they lose the game, and this new expansion is going to be adding a bunch of new variety into the game with new enemies and new cards and new dungeon setups that you can experience. And like I said, this does also allow you to play with up to four players, and there will be new characters that you can play as as well. And there's also going to be a new mechanism that allows you to adjust the difficulty if you want to make things a little bit easier or a little more difficult. And if you want to check it out, I will have it linked in the description down below.